Hello, everybody. My name is Caitlin Foley, and I'm going to be doing my topic on shark finning, predators who have now turned into prey. As time goes on, many people are becoming more familiar with the very cruel concept of shark finning and have started to incorporate this into their daily lives. But as people have started to learn about this, people have now started to eat more, have started to harm sharks more. Shark finning, according to the Collins Dictionary, is the practice of catching sharks, removing their fins, and throwing the rest of the shark back into the ocean. However, in addition to this, most of the time the sharks are faint while they're still alive. They end up at the bottom of the ocean, where they either bleed to death from their wounds, drown from suffocation, or are killed by another animal. This practice is extremely brutal and needs to be stopped. After the movie Jaws came out, many people began to think that our lives might be better without sharks, and they began to fear for their lives every single time they stepped in the ocean. Sharks were, seen as, were being seen as monsters who wanted to harm and eat humans. However, this is actually not the case. Instead, sharks should be the ones who are scared of us. Sharks, on an average, kill about one person per year in the United States. This is typically by accident, mistaking us for a seal. However, we kill 11,500 sharks per hour. That's 100 million sharks per year. Well, some experts go even higher, saying 273 million are killed per year. This is more than the population of the United Kingdom, Germany, and Australia combined. Shark fins are in a huge high demand right now due to a Chinese delicacy called shark fin soup. The soup is extremely expensive and is often served at weddings. It can cost around $100 to $300 per pound, while in some cases it's even costed $2,000. This soup is believed to have health benefits such as higher energy and strength, but it's just cartilage. This soup is way more harm to your body than good, though. According to an article written by the Washington Post, it states, the shark's position at the top of the food chain means it contains dangerous amounts of mercury, cardium, arsenic, and other poisonous metals. Because of this, neurological disorders, cognitive dysfunction, and central nervous system damage are linked with the soup. Many people may ask what we can do to stop this. The stereotypical answer is donating money to charities and signing petitions, but I instead think we should educate ourselves on sharks. If we stopped feeding sharks in the beginning, it would not even gone close to going this far. Peter Benchley, who's the writer of Jaws, has even stated multiple times that he regrets writing Jaws because of what has happened. He once told the animal attack files in 2000, what I know now, which was not when I wrote, known when I wrote Jaws, is that there is no such thing as a roguish shark who develops a taste for human flesh. Shark finning has gone so far out of control that some experts say in the next 10 years, many species may become extinct. And this is extremely bad for marine life because sharks are a keystone species. And a keystone species is a species on which other species in an ecosystem largely depend. If sharks were to go extinct, the things that sharks would eat would overpopulate like crazy. Our beaches would become destroyed and many animals would become, would become threatened with going extinct. Our beaches, which once looked like this, would turn into this. Shark finning is an extremely brutal practice, which needs to be stopped now. Not in a week, not in a month, and not in a year. Now, before it gets even more out of control than it already has. After all, do we really want something that's been around for more than 450 million years for every single mass extinction known to mankind to die off in 10 by one species called humans? Thank you. <laughs>